So, with that said, that's as much as I'm giving. We are going full in right now at this point of time. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the white hallway, I'm assuming, because it's a hallway. So, there it is. That's the final warning. We're going in, and we're going in right now. What the? Bro. What? Holy. Whisper. Holy crap. And here you are. Allow me to introduce myself. As you have already gathered, I've been known by many names. Nergal to the Sumerians, Osiris to the Egyptians, Hades to the Greeks, and Pluto to the Romans. But the one constant through it all has been my title, God of the Underworld. And I've been watching you with curiosity, mortal, ever since your arrival. You're unlike the others, aren't you? And what is more, you carry a weapon that was never intended for mortals to wield, and you do it so reasonably. But there will be time for your reckoning later. First, as a reward for undoing the desecration of my obelisk, I will allow you to satisfy your curiosity. Ask what you will. What's your story? My story is many thousands of years long. You will need to be more specific. What do you wish to know? It is a matter of perspective. God is a label I was given by the mortals, not what I gave myself. Your ancestors revered me because to them, my knowledge and technology made me incomprehensibly powerful, just as you might seem so to an insect. But despite all that, there are rules even I must obey. My kin and I all adopted this form long ago, so that we might better understand and communicate with your kind. In time, we grew fond of the sensory delights it affords. Desire, joy, ecstasy, even rage and sorrow, while an acquired taste can be addictive. <laughs> May I see your true No. Form? Long ago, I swore to preserve that I would remain in this form for as long as we remained among your kind. I must honor that. One sec, I'm just adding into the title. This is my beloved. Like me, she has been known by many names. Eresh Kigel to the Sumerians, Isis to the Egyptians, Persephone to the Greeks and Persephone to the Romans. Or perhaps you might know her as the goddess of springtime, the cycle of life and renewal. Your gaze lingers too long. So, whoa, sorry, bro. <laughs> that is my servant. You would have met by the river, though she wears many faces, ah. who goes by many names. Kumu Tabal to the Sumerians. Kurti to the Egyptians, Charon to the Greeks, and Charon to the Romans. Her role is to ferry souls between the mortal world and this one, and to make their transition as seamless as possible. For that, she earned herself the infamous, if erroneous, moniker, the Ferryman. You will talk more later. For now, ask your questions. As you wish. It has come to be known simply as the Underworld, and it exists because of a wager I made long ago. That is a long story, one that began over... You see, long ago, my kin and I set out from our home on Elysium to search for other forms of life among the stars. We discovered your planet and witnessed your kind evolving from primates into something lawless and barbaric. You all but destroyed yourselves, 
your two short lives being ex yet Proserpina saw raw potential and persuaded the rest of us it would be squandered without our intervention and stewardship. So we revealed ourselves to your people in a place called Sumer. We offered guidance in agriculture, too. For a time, you flourished, but soon you were too many for us to ever see. And as you spread from that cradle of civilization, we saw something disturbing. We had sown the seeds of dependency and confusion, and soon you returned to your old ways of violence and ignorance, this time in our name. My kin had seen enough and gave up on you condemning you as barbaric and chaotic, scarcely more than animals. We began preparations to return, but my Proserpina could not bear to abandon your kind without guidance, and knowing it would force the rest of us to leave her behind, she made an extraordinary sacrifice. She gave up her immortality to descend permanently to the ranks of humankind, and so she began her inescapable trajectory toward death. Horrified, I acted swiftly. I placed her in suspended animation in a deep, frozen sleep to prevent age and sleep. And then I pleaded with Proserpina's father, who the Romans called Jupiter, to bring her with us to Elysium. It was and is my hope that once there, we might one day learn to undo what she has done to herself. But he refused. I did everything I could to persuade him. But he would not relent. He would rigidly uphold his final pronouncement. Humans were unworthy of ascension to Elysium, and no exceptions would be made. But seeing that I was aggrieved, he proposed a wager, the terms of which were as follows. If even one human city could prove itself capable of living without sin for a single year, then Proserpina and all of humanity would be permitted to join us in Elysium. My part would be to remain behind, uh -oh. the last of my kind, to watch over you without interfering, and to sit in silent judgment. And so my reward has been to languish here trying to during a 3,000 year winter, waiting for the day oh. your kind proves itself worthy of her faith in you, so that I might take her with me to Elysium and unthaw my goddess of springtime. And here I am, after all this time, still waiting. Wow, that's a lot of, uh... There were also gods who, like me, have been known by many names. But perhaps you knew them. Our leader, Jupiter, as well as Neptune, Saturn, Juno, Minerva, Mars, Venus, Apollo, Diana, Vulcan, Vesta, and of course, as the first wave of your kind arrived from Sumer, I had them build a city in their own fashion, so that they might be comfortable and re I had them build the entrance as a vertical shaft leading to baths, to cleanse them of the sea. I watched way of co- After another thousand years, the Greeks began. They built upon the underworlds of their predecessors, renamed their gods, and- To ensure the wage was fair, it was important that my subjects were chosen at random. To this end, I had my servant distribute a thousand tokens fashioned from silver, mm. a rare element at the time. Whoever died while in possession of one of them would be located by my servant and ferried to this place, with no memory of how they... As the tokens were discovered, they were traded, smelted, and fashioned into trinkets, and eventually coins, spreading to Egypt like seeds on... Later, when they spread to Greece, they would come to be known as Charon's Oval. Some placed coins in the mouths of their dead, hoping they would awaken here, though they had no way of knowing which coins were fashioned from the original tokens. In fact, almost all of the tokens are accounted for. Only two remain. And so after this wave destroys itself, as it is destined to do, your kind would have squandered the last of its potential to ascend beyond this rock. And Perseven is along with it. It is a regrettable story. One of the first men who came to this place was a king of Sumer and a troublemaker. To be rid of him, I returned him to his people, 
on the condition that my servant erased his memories of this place. But the erasure did not take completely, and he told stories of this place as if describing memories of a dream. His tales were committed to writing, which came to be known as the Epic of Gilgamesh, mm. and his words were twisted and distorted over generations. Later, the Egyptians would adapt Sumer's stories of the underworld, making them their Book of the Dead and Book of Gates bore less and less resemblance to this place. Then, when the Greeks began to arrive, they proved far more cunning. And in a ship, a warrior named Heracles, two kings named Sisyphus and Theseus, a poet named Orpheus, and a Trojan named Aeneas. They each told embellished tales of this place, how to get here. And so from Sumer to Egypt, Greece to Rome, your kind has always told each other stories about this place. Of course. That is merely the name your people have given to me. That is a story dating back to the very first wave. After the Sumerians finished building their city, everything has a reason. Self declared ruler through a banquet to sell. Getting a very, uh. Now this man was unmarried, and many women were vying to become his wife. Prestigious position. The ancient ones vibe. I love the Assassin's All Creed, the like, futuristic history. Delicious. History. Both were or... beautiful. And so this is like right up my alley right now dresses and painted faces their hair woven in elaborate fashion draped herself seeing this ostentatious she prayed aloud to any gods that would listen to cover her in gold and when her prayer while the others indulged at the banquet the second woman summoned the first for a discussion and she checked that nobody was watching pushed her rival from the top of the ziggurat where she broke her neck on the rocks but i was watching i took the golden bow left behind by diana and i shot that woman in the heart covering her from head to toe in a layer of molten and i left her to stand there that she might serve as a grim reminder of what befalls those who sin in my but that was not enough the entire city was tainted by her sin the wager could not, so I had no choice but to wipe the slate clean. I gilded them all, and to this day, each of them, and all who came after, suspended in time with only yeah. their sight and hearing preserved, so they may bear witness to and lament the folly of your kind for eternity, the silent golden sentinels. I give your kind a second chance in life, as well as and when you disobey and you always disobey and so you ask if i am the one you destroy yourselves when my kin departed they left behind many relics which i inherited the golden bow originally belonged to one of my kin as my collection of golden statues grew i chose the most ferocious among them and it's a long conversation but we're finding out a lot of stuff hunting down the forsaken as furious. I've always furries. considered that the cornerstone <laughs> of morality is the ability to determine right from wrong on one. No attempt to lay out rules like your code of Hammurabi or your 12 tables of the Roman Republic. Connect this should come as no surprise to you since the core principle has been expressed in many forms by me. The Egyptians made a rudimentary attempt with do to the doer to make. The Greeks refined it with avoid doing what you would blame others for. The Roman Stoics added, treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Even the so-called cultists like hiding among you often say, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. The it cultists, the I love how they call them the cultists. And each one of you is born with the faculties required to apply it to any situation. Yet none of the peoples who expressed this rule were able to uphold. I'm able to commune with all of the statues in the city. Mm. If she was still conscious, I suppose she could, but she's not. Then what an odd... <laughs> Do you plan to speak in sweeping generalizations? Who's I've that? seen no such thing. 
Taking one's own life is a self-directed act. It is not one that is done to others, however they may be affected by it. Therefore, it cannot be said that one who commits suicide has done it. Seems like an extremely literal interpretation of the rule of true. Applying this rule always requires us to interpret the meaning of the words. The literal interpretation helps to minimize the Our language is full of ambiguity. ambiguity. Does that make the rule inherently subjective and unreliable? Hmm. Oh shit. Supposing you're <laughs> right, then my law has been broken. And I should turn you all to gold immediately. Is that what you want? No, of course not. Never mind. The merchant. How is that inconsistent? He wouldn't want someone else to demand an outrageous price for the medicine. He I said disagree. He was Having watched this merchant, that is precisely what he would expect from others, and he would be quite capable of paying the price anyway. Yeah, no, he would just expect you're just lying. This rule always requires. Not if we're wise enough to know. Hmm. Supposing you're right, then my laws be. Hmm. Now tell me, what other sins? Uh, yeah, that Abduction. one's a big one. You mean the magistrate imprisoning? He did so because she sought to escape. Better that he stops her from escape. Hmm. Hmm. Now tell me. This just shows how unreliable and subjective your moral code is. You're no better than judging from right or wrong. Do you than honestly human. think you? No, but that's my point. Nobody's grasp for right or wrong is perfectly that you can trust with this power. You've all become a tyrant. I should strike you down. If you did that, you'd be proving my point. Hmm. Now, did you have any very all the questions Good. I had. And now it is time for your reckoning. Oh boy. Only it seems something is wrong. It has long been within my power to see into the hearts of mortals and weigh their deeds in life. But when I peer into you, I see only a black slate. As if you did not exist until you appeared in this city. How is this possible? Carol, where did you find this one? I do not remember ferrying you. How did you come here? Ah. Uh, from the future. If that is true, then I sense the intervention of someone powerful. How did you come to be in this time, mortal? Who brought you here? He cannot know. I was hoping you could tell I me. I do not know. My kin departed long ago, and Proserpina has slumbered for 3,000 years. Do you know that there's a god of the other world? Tread lightly, mortal. <laughs> Enough of this. It seems I will need to put your reckoning on hold for now. But answer this. Why have you come here? What is it you see? Like you put, a, put an end to the golden roll. I just want to get out of here. Here to kill you. <laughs> your hubris is amusing, so I will allow you to make your case. But I will. If you anger me or waste my time with oh, lies God. or wrong headed arguments, so tell me, why should. Doing so for this love, you should know that Prince doesn't love you. How can you expect us to live without sin if you can't do it yourself? The role is it corrupting the city and ensuring you'll never win the wager. Oh boy. That is a very serious accusation, mortal. Didn't you abduct Prosopina and imprisoner? Trap people here in the city against this will. You've given terrible punishments to hundreds of people, some for minor sins, and some who committed no sins at all. Every one of those people was guilty of they failed collectively and so they were punished collect Where I'm from collective punishment is considered one of the most egregious crimes there is 
our positions were reversed, you wouldn't want me to punish you for the sins of other people. Ah, but I'm a god, and you are a mortal. Why would you expect me to treat you as I treat my own kind? You want let me ask you this. Do you treat insects as you wish to be treated? <laughs> do you care? Do you ensure ah, they have food and shelter and protection from predators? Uh, no. <laughs> no, we don't do that. Uh, yes. <laughs> no. Of course not. Because. Fair point. What makes your kind superior to mine? Ooh. My love for her does not mean I am not superior now that she. Perhaps you think uh, you're not as human, different from humans as you think. Where to begin? In which time we accumulate vast wisdom and a. Why does wisdom and technology make you superior? Lifespan, so you're not immortal then. It would be most unwise to get ideas about. Because that is the source of our. So you think you're not obliged to treat us fairly because you're more powerful than us? Mm, you could say that. Treat your inferiors as you wish your superior to treat My you. My kin have no superiors. Oh boy. But didn't that didn't you say Jupiter was your leader? There's a hierarchy within your kin. Hmm. That is <laughs> true. Oh boy. Go on. So you're treating humans the way you wish Jupiter to treat you. Make your point, mortal. That's what I said. I'm saying if you can't follow your own rule, how can you expect humans to? <laughs> you're an arrogant, immoral hypocrite. Let me ponder that for a moment. If you are right, then it would follow that all this time I have been in the wrong. But no. The very thought of it aggrieves me. How can I accept your argument when doing so would make me a tyrant and a monster? It's the truth, you committed atrocities, you need to own up to it. You're not a monster, you're human, and you made a mistake. Oh shit. He's not a human, though. Your hubris grows tiresome. You will make a fine statue. Oh no. <laughs> Do you really think you can wound me, a god, with that primitive weapon? How dare you threaten her? This ends now. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Got it. Ah. Wait, how do I rewind time? Oh no, don't tell me. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, last one is this one. No, this one. Jesus. Oh, my God. Well, this is still pretty sick. Okay, I'm going through. All of that, but speed. Go, 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 go. What's I, your story? Your God. Oh my God. I can't believe I actually listened to all this. Let 
Ah, oh, shoot. You know what else? I should have. That. Tell me. I. Tread lightly. Ha. Ah, da da da. It's Cryptina City. That is a. Every. I love it. it. Hmm. My mm. make let me. You're not a monster, you're human. Wait. Humans don't make mistakes. All humans have tendency towards sin. We all do it sooner or later. You have spoken eloquently. And yet, if what you say is true, it follows that my wager was fatally flawed from the beginning. Ah. But that would mean Jupiter, Preservative's father, who knew more about you than anyone, proposed a wager I could never win. Why would he do that? Perhaps he wanted to abandon a wager so it would be free from you. Perhaps he felt threatened by you and didn't want a potential challenger in Elysium. He left you behind because of your own kin didn't want you. Never wanted to. Uh... Perhaps, but if that was so, Surely I would have sensed his deception. You know better than us, you're a monster on a power trip. Perhaps when you took a human form, you took on some human for ability obols as well. Uh, your words sting me, mortal. But perhaps it is what I deserve. As difficult as this is to admit, I have suspected as much for a long time now. I cannot deny it any longer. I've been so fixated on taking my beloved to Elysium that every time one of you sinned, it wore away my hope of being with her again. In time, I began to despise your kind for making her believe that you could ever be better than you are. But my rage was not born of malice, quite the opposite. Everything I have done, I did because I loved her. Who knew this empathy of yours, which you celebrate so much, could have such a dark underside? Damn. This has gone on too long. It is time for me to let go of this form, of her, of all of you. But know this, if I abandon the way Jern Lee for Elysium, neither she nor your kind may ever ascend. We just want to return to the world. Why can't we go to Elysium? Because doing so would violate the rules of my sacred agreement with Jupiter. And the best I can do is return you to the land of the living. I will have Charon make arrangements to ferry the others. But as for you, be aware you will be separated from the rest. Why? Once this exodus begins, the events that brought you to this moment will mm, never have taken place, and you will have created a paradox. 
What will become of you is difficult to predict, but that is the risk you have taken by interfering in the natural flow of time. Now, are you ready? I'm ready. Farewell, mortal. a time paradox ah we are somewhere else now oh what up al uh hi there gave me a bit of a fright well here i am oh did that lady in the forest send you in here after me i'm fairly certain you and i are the first people to set foot fortunately for us though apparently there was a they believe that if he, then an oracle appeared and told him how to solve the ills of the city, like saving the life of a dying woman, preventing the suicide of a man in debt bondage, freeing a falsely accused prisoner, foiling an assassination attempt, and so on. Meanwhile, the Oracle walked up to the temple of the mysterious god, this one right here, and demanded an audience. And the doors just opened up to him. Nobody knows what went on in there, but Galerius wrote the Oracle must have been more persuasive than Odysseus, because the next thing he knew, the ground shook, and the voice of that god rang out over the city. The many have suffered long enough. Unfortunately, Galerius' account just sort of stops after that, leaving a lot of questions unanswered. What became of him, and the other people who lived here? What happened to all the golden statues? And did this mysterious oracle single-handedly undo the curse that had terrorized people for hundreds of years? Actually, that was me. Uh... What? <laughs> oh, I see. Anyway, I think I found a way out through the aqueduct that brought water into the city. Follow me. Right behind you. <laughs> Return to the river. Ah, so it always drops you right here. I'm going to pause here for a moment. You go on it. Okay. Is Karen still gonna be here? Find out. Yep, she's still here. You're back. Ah, oh, why don't Ah, I see. I thought you might. Well, now you know. I suppose you have questions. You can... I do not... We that kind of saw this earlier. my role as the servant of the god of the underworld. Hmm. Most souls would rather not... Ask yourself... As you... You were exploring an old tomb. When you discovered a cache of forgotten relics. We were murdered. Unfortunately, we found as you emerged into daylight, a nearby hiker saw the two thieves found us. You both and the guy bravely, saved me. But your there was nothing you or your he died instantly. Which was scene. Al. And you fought that man's name was Al. You were each in possession of a secret. And we both had the last two ovals. It means I am now bereft of purpose. There is nobody else to ferry here. Nobody to keep you company. Perhaps you have heard the tales of the Greeks and Romans bearing their dead with- Well, a lot my- It means, I am now bereft. There is- I see no point in keeping you here. But I have to ask one thing. That you keep this to yourself. Look, here comes Al now. <laughs> Al, it's so good to see you. You were gone so long, I thought I'd never see you again. So good. Kind of lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. There, and there was a tablet describing an oracle who confronted it. Sounds like quite a story. And I look forward to hearing all... You two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in while I ferry you back to civilization? Sounds good to me. And you? Are you ready to go home? 
I'm ready. Holy crap. One year later. Oh my god, we actually get it one year later? No way. Get a follow up too? Oh my god, yo! Whoa! Awesome! Whoa! Alright, this is sick. Ancient Rome, Ancient Greece, Ancient Egypt, Summer, Reception Hall. Holy crap. Is that Al? Hey, you made it. It's great to see you again. I read your book and what the critics said about it. I guess they weren't ready for your theories about the underworld. Anyway, after everything you've been through, I thought you might appreciate some good news. So after we got back to the real world, I started doing some research into the people mentioned in Galerius's tablet, and I found something strange. I'm sorry I've been so cryptic. I've been dying to tell you, I just really wanted you to see this for yourself. Why don't you head on down there? I'll get you- Ooh. Okay. Whoa. Oh, oh, there he is. What the fuck? <laughs> what? You're finally here. Remember me? It's a crazy story. After you disappeared, Karen appeared and told us she was returning us to the world. Even gave us some coins to help us start our lives over. Only... For some reason, she returned us to your world instead of ours. Anyway, I know we only ever had that one conversation, and I wasn't even sure if you'd remember me, but I wanted to say thanks for freeing us from the underworld and giving us a second chance at life. That's some crazy stuff. What the? Oh, I used Karen's gift to buy a farm in Umbria. Got a villa on it, too, with enough room for Dooley, of course. It's hard work. But I sleep soundly every night. I'm finally my own man, and I... I wouldn't change it for the world. I know! I can't believe my luck either! But we're engaged, and live we're planning to get married next huh. spring. If you're gonna be around, we'd love to see you there. Of course, there's a whole museum full of people waiting for a chance to thank you. So you better keep moving. That is That's awesome. You. Getting even more closure. You're here. It's lovely to finally meet you. Galerius told me all about. So, you're the hero who somehow vanquished the last of the Roman gods. As I'm a priestess, you realize you've put me out of work. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Actually, and it still feels a little sacrilegious to say this, I'm finding life after. Galerius and I are engaged and expecting. Oh. We've just bought a lovely villa in the countryside with room for a large. It feels like the world has just opened up. The for Forgotten us. City too. There's so much to learn, and so many Playing more as the son of Galerius? For our children than we ever imagined. We're just so thankful. Oh, it's sweet of you to ask. She recovered nicely. In fact, she's here somewhere. If you'd like to ask her yourself. Whoa. See you at the wedding. That's awesome. There he is. Hello, I'm Dooley. Hey, Dooley. Galerius said you're very nice and a big helper. Thank His you. His eyes are freaking out. out. I live at Galerius and e Equitia's house. They look after me now. And treasure. Oh, I forgot about it. Bye bye. Hmm. It's you. There he is. Whoa, who is that? Hold up. You're oh, of course, sorry. And I Mask never got tech. a chance to thank you for telling Galerius how to save my life. And of course, Getting me and all. Oh, I bet I'm living in a house share in London with my wonderful girlfriend. <laughs> and I'm studying English at university. Eventually, I want to travel the world and write about it. 
turns out it's about 30 times bigger. Did you know there are entire continents? And you can travel almost anywhere in an aircraft. Oh, sorry, you already know all that, of course. I'm just That's so, so cool. excited. There's so much to see. I have noticed people from your time have no idea how fortunate they are. <laughs> Last I heard, Maliolus kept insisting he was the last rightful ruler of the Roman Empire and wound up being committed <laughs> to a psychiatric hospital. As for Claudia, she was always so viciously unhappy. Someone says she'd blown all her money on wine, trying to drink herself back to the underworld. Thank you. Ugh. Someone told me she was boasting about getting her claws into some rich prince, and how she was going to be living the high life, even in your time life. Apparently he'd proposed before they'd even met. And last I heard, she'd bought herself a first-class one-way ticket to join him in Nigeria? <laughs> well, you are the Oracle. Huh. You too! If you're ever in London, let me know. We can go to bars and drink one. I hope. You are here. Lucy is fine. I'm making an effort to blend in. As if <laughs> the world knew we died 2,000 years ago and were suddenly... Speaking of which, I wanted to say thank you in part. I'm studying to get into medical school. When it... They'd be good at that. You too. That's awesome. Hey. Horatius. Of course he's Hi military now. That's awesome. <laughs> I understand we have you to thank for giving us a second chance at life. And reuniting Santilla with us as well. I'm living up north and studying in the military academy in Modena. The world's changed a lot. But some things stay the same. Would you believe we're still studying military tactics from my time? Alexander the Great, Caesar, Hannibal Bar, still. I have to keep challenging myself to let go of old ways of thinking. The ones who pioneered our paths. A lot of these people really ah, transitioned great from Thank their you. time to modern. I grieved for a time, but that's done. In the words of Epictetus, Remo Thanks. He's not my... Oh, I see what you did. He had more trouble adapting than most. <laughs> he got himself disqualified from the UFC. So he started some kind of underground blood sport. Suppose it appealed to people's baser instincts. And they say he made some good coin, killing. But his luck finally ran out. And his life along with it. Live by the sword, die by the sword. You're not wrong. And you. Huh. It's probably his shield, his backpack, his helmet. Centilla. I take it you're the Oracle. Actually, I changed my name to Cynthia. I didn't want to be associated with Sentius after what happened. I'm not sure if you heard, but after you drove Pluto off, Proserpina emerged from the... She knew right away what none of us had figured out about that psychopath. He'd been keeping my little sister locked up in the upper cis... But he's been dealt with. He's... Uh, you know what? Anything I want. I'm a woman of means in a vast new world. Of course, I mostly just stay in my villa and have my servant Alexa summon things for me because it's just awful out there. <laughs> He's still there, all alone. The last golden statue in the underworld. Oh. Trapped in a metal shell. Eternal torment. <laughs> you too. That's crazy. Oh my god, there's still so many people too what the hell <laughs> greetings Hello. you must be the legendary oracle i am told we have you to thank for freeing us from hades i am reacquainting myself with greece it perhaps i hope you hermit Will he tell me his name? Oh, wow. I take it you're the oracle ev We have. I'm sorry, I don't remember. I never thought I'd leave that cave, let alone the city. And now Philip. I'm living in the 21st, and it seems I have your catabasis. 
I'm working as a consultant to the Faculty of Classics. Not that I need the money, but I do love being around. My sincere... Hmm. Your... I wanted to say thanks for sending Galerius to say... I'm just so happy. Well, it's not like I have to work with all the silver Caron gave me, so... Mostly... Good evening. Octavia. Oh, hello. I'm thankful that you're here, but thank you for coming. I'm living in Rome again, in a charming little flat by the... After... I just... Thank... And... Wonderful. Greetings. Thank you for your kind words and... Oh, this is Olivia. I was like all. trying to remember who she is. In... I'm recovering. Octavia was kind enough to let me stay. Ah, you remember that. <laughs> I'm a little... I'm... Men have called me... And... Some soiree, innit? This guy. Ah, <laughs> oh, hello at last. Listen. I wanted to express my sincere appreciation for what you did. If it wasn't for you, I'd never... Whatever you did in that temple made me a very wealthy... Most... I took the money I made from selling my trinkets and started investing in the stock market. I can't decide between fossil fuels, tobacco... Oh, don't be like that, you... <laughs> DVD rentals, broadcast television is going to be the next big thing media is going to make a huge comeback oh my god oh of course yeah I was just thinking the same thing of course don't let me <laughs> oh my god he's even here no way what it is an honor to finally you oh of course you are an oracle you know many things I too would like That's to crazy. offer my thanks for releasing us from that place and for your role. For a time, I returned to Alexandria, but they... Instead, I have decided to follow the custom of your youths and backpack. I spent the first 25 years of my life avoiding the 40... <laughs> Indeed. Thank you. Uh, who else do we Hello got? There. Centilla. Oh my god. Oh, I go by Gabriella now. I didn't want to be reminded of that monster every time I heard my own name. Fair enough. After. Don't worry. Nobody did. I'm living with Ulpius on a little vineyard in Umbria. It's even more wonderful. I'm so grateful to you for making sure he's still with us. If you're ever passing through the region, I hope you can try some of our. Thanks. It's nice to finally... I understand I had... The way you just showed up out of the blue and stopped me... F I'm living with Gabriella in Umbria. Every... So we're living each day to the... F sitting together on our... And I... Thank you. You too. Rufius. Nice to meet you. I go by Rufus now. No start for what you... Sorry, I'm... <laughs> I live with Virgil in Rotterdam, not far from where he grew up. It's very... Oh. Uh, haven't decided what I'm... Huh. Good to know. Anyway, it's <laughs> good practice for the new world. Security cameras, smartphones Security. everywhere, gotta stay vigilant. That's unfortunately true. Mm. You too. They're staying together. It's so nice to finally... I wanted to thank you personally and for helping Rufus come to terms with himself. He may come off a little gruff, but once you get... Huh. I'm studying to be an architect again and living with Rufus in our beautiful flat in Rotterdam. Just down the river from... Of course, it's improved immensely since I was there last. You natives of the 21st century have... You too, as Rufus said, if you're ever in the nether. Hi. That is awesome. What a game. The plaque. 
Those, that, that. Oh, no. No. It crashed. No. <laughs> no. Please tell me there was a save point there. Oh, no. Come on. We have to finish. We have to. We have to. We're right there. We're literally right there. No way. No way. No way. No, 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 no. Are you serious? No, there's not even a save in that area. Oh my God. No way. Did I at least get like the achievement for like finishing the game? You can finish the game without looping through time once. What? I didn't even get to see what ending that was. Oh my god. I only get an achievement for doing that one time. Are you serious? All right, chat, hold on. Don't look again. I'm going to try to run through this really, really quick. And just run to the very end and see what the... Uh... And, uh... My st quick. I'm just going through all these. I know this. the options that I chose. You know what? That. And then I. Of course. Uh, that one doesn't matter. Okay. All right, Alworth, we know that. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Come on, I can't believe it crashed. Oh, no, did that? Yep, we know all this. We done all of this. Uh, right behind you. Go, go, go. Okay. I'm going to save so that way we at least have a saving point and go good idea be right there speed run I want to see what Al says in the final moments and see what ending that I mean I'm sure it's four at this rate 
It's got to be four because of everything we've done. And I'll just look up the other yep. two, to be honest. But, uh, um, yeah. Ah, I see. I thought you might. Okay. Well, now you know. I suppose you have questions. Come on. Where are you? Yep, we know that. Where are I? I want to know. I just want to complete at least I see as no much as. Point in keeping you here, but I have to ask one thing: that you keep this to yourself. Look, here comes Al now. Kind of lost. Here comes Al now. And... Let's go. Take us home. One year later. <laughs> Save again. Okay. That's still so cool. I know. Oh, hello. Hey. I can't Leave believe me. it crashed. There you are. Now, there's one more person I wanted to introduce you. <laughs> Sorry no way. If I you. Just a little joke I've been saving worth for it. a long, this was worth long it. time. Allow me to introduce myself properly. I wanted to meet you in person. And thank you for freeing all these people. I hate to think what would have happened to us without your intervention. Indeed. Suffice it to say that while Pluto was controlling the eyes and ears of each, I was able to control their tongues and whispered. I am sorry my messages were so cryptic. There were only ever brief... I did. I may have given up my immortality, but I still retain my gifts as the god. After witnessing Pluto punish countless poor souls over... So I tried to give them a way to buy more time, so I whispered to Sentius in secret. I knew the danger of humans being corrupted by godly power. I required the creator of the portal to sacrifice their own life, so that it could only be used selflessly. What I did not anticipate is that Sentius would retain his... He quickly discovered that he could, in effect, prolong his... Of course, once I had taught him the prayer, I could not unteach him. And there was little I could do but wait for someone like you to come along. Mm. You see, we were all fortunate you came along when you did. I don't know what happened to him. I haven't heard from him. Oh, she inherited dominion over the underworld. Last time we spoke, she was working on a new world of some kind. She wouldn't say what it was, but I'd be surprised if you don't run into her again. And you. Oh, and one last thing. Do you Of course. Good. Because they remember you. Well done, my friend. Holy crap. Of all the heroes who ever turned to the underworld in return, None came close to achieving what you did. Hercules, Orpheus, Theseus, and the Nymphs would be proud. Ending four of four. Yes. What a game. Oh my god. I think <sighs> this game might be my, my game of the year. Honestly, so good. So good. Such a fantastic game. Message from the developers. We hope you enjoyed Forgotten City. We'd love to make you better games in the future and help out by recommending a Forgotten City to a friend, writing a review, or more people play our game more we can level up and if you got the first to know when we announce our next project please connect with us what a game oh my god holy crap so good highly amazing amazing okay i need to to hop off now so 
thank you everyone that stopped by for today it was such a good stream we played out a few games did my first showcase saturday uh checking out some new games and then we also got to complete uh <clears throat> this game here i'm going to look up the other two endings uh because I'm, I'm not really going to go back and play them but i'm glad i got the one that i wanted and also uh, we kind of just stumbled into it i thought it was going to be uh, a little bit rough but we did an amazing job and it was it was amazing so i uh, thank you everyone i'm going to chill i'll see you guys possibly tomorrow for now peace out stay safe and i will see you guys next time goodbye good night and adios